Uh, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on that one down near Mayfield, Kentucky, because that could be a, a really big problem here in about an hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. I mean, it was scary. It, it was a monster in the dark that was coming to hurt you. A little bit, but I can still see it. Oh, man, it's so big. Every time in lightning, I could see a monstrous funnel cloud. I mean, I could, I could even, I was so close, I could see I stuff said, floating around. This is the cell here that we're really concerned about. Said, oh, my gosh. I mean, I had never seen anything like that in real time. And so that got my attention that this is really bad. And it just started like growling. And the ground started shaking. And I'm in Mayfield. I work at the candle factory. We got hit by a, a tornado. Oh God, God, this is the end of the road. I, I think I will die right here. And then she stopped breathing. She wasn't moving. I said, Andrea. Andrea, I said, baby, no, no, Andrea, and I started shaking her. Hey, baby. Hey, hi, oh my God. Hey, oh, my God. Hey, oh, my God. Hey, oh, my God. Good deal. Good deal. Is she okay? 18 years ago, you built this. And it saves 14 lives. Yeah. Wow. Got behind the mattress against the wall. One wall left standing in the house. That's all I was left standing. It's like one minute you have everything, and then the next minute it's gone, and then you're just trying to start over, rebuild. And where do you start? Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, protect yourself from flying debris. He, uh, I feel like he saved our life that night. I was listening to him. It just felt like it was time to go. It doesn't really, until you hear stories like this, you know, it's one thing to do it on TV and look at it on radar, but to hear it, First hand from. Mm. Well, give me a hug. That's you did such a great job. She just sort of popped up right there. Just she's like a little jack in a box. She did. She just popped up, and I was just like, I just grabbed her. This event has changed our lives forever. My kids one day will be telling their grandkids about how they survived downstairs. It's changed our family tree. Did I ever think that what's happened in Mayfield and, and Dawson Springs and Casey and all these other towns that have been hit by this tornado, I will tell you, I've seen people come together and it makes you realize that humanity still may be a good thing. You know, everybody wishes they were rich, you know, for their own reasons. I just wish I was so I could help everybody.